Hello everybody, I'm back with another Form Labs unboxing video. This time we are going to unbox Form Wash and Form Cure. Sorry, Form Wash and Form Cure. Let's get to it without losing any time. Because I need to use these. And here we are. Ho, ho, ho. Nice stuff. Actually, let's unbox the form wash first and then the cure. We start with some brochures, power cord, a cutting three cutting machine. Um, we will see what this is later on. A scraper, another removal, another print removal tool. I bet this is an adapter. Another tweezer. Sponge. Let's take it off. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, this is the form wash. I really like this machine because it automizes everything. Let's take a closer look. So here we have a lot of stuff, but I want to start by showcasing this uh, wash safety tape. So we have all the information without the safety tape, supervision, tools, sharp tools and packaging and how radio interference and all other warnings are. So read that. And here is the form wash and we will do the cure later on, obviously. But this shows us a couple interesting and important stuff, which are like the basket where you put the build platform, display, the knob, the tool storage. I'm going to show you the tool storage, which I really like. Uh, the other one is like the hydrometer. And this one is the hydrometer. Hydrometer. We have pump too inside of it. We will fill the bucket with IPA, connect it, and we will calibrate the hydrometer as well. And... Yeah, we will, we will do our very first wash. And here is another important thing. So this shows the print timelines. For every resin, we have different wash times. So we will check it based on the resin we use. But let's open this baby up. And here is the pump. We will use the siphon to empty it when the time comes. But right now, we are not going to use it. We are going to keep it aside. I'm going to connect it to power now to open it up for you guys. Plugged in, aha, the screen come in. Screen is very simple, very easy. So this is the screen where it shows the wash time, the start number of washes. So I'm gonna drop this to five minutes for the sake of this video. And you click open, and when you open, the magic happens. Boom. This is crazy good. It just comes out automatically. What is really cool about this machine is when the, when the wash finishes, it lifts it up and wait for you to pick up the parts. Because sometimes I forget the parts in the IPA and this is the best thing, like literally. And I'm gonna click sleep and it's gonna go down to sleep. And here the menu is really cool too with one knob. Uh, there's a protective cover which I'm not going to remove because I know it's going to be full of resin. Let's open it up again. <laughs> Let's take a closer look to inside. If you look at it closely, there's a magnetic steering mixer, which is this one. It turns magnetically and steers the IPA bath and this one seals the bath in. As a result, you don't get IPA fumes out or it doesn't evaporate while you're doing the thing you're supposed to do. After talking all about these, let's take a look at something else, which is I can take this off. See, like this entire thing is around how many gallons? I don't remember. Um, 
Okay, this entire thing is like six liters. You can see the bar here, six liters, and you put the IPA inside this and it's self-contained. And the bucket that goes up and down stays on the other platform. So it goes up and down. The other cool stuff is the storage unit. See, these are the storage units. So let's put this one back. And let's um, sleep it. And I'm gonna show you guys the storage unit. Okay, when you are near the machine, you open these up like side by side. It's like, it's like wings at the back. And those are the storage unit where you can store the stuff. And I'm gonna put, for example, the, uh, I'm gonna put, for example, the cutter here. You guys can see that too, right? And other equipment that will go in here. I can put my scraper here. They're already marked here with some of the silhouettes, but it's hard to see from the camera angle. But yeah, very cool, right? And I will put the hydrometer in here as well. <laughs> and yeah, it's very compact. Everything is packed inside this machine and I love it. And this is the pump. We are going to use it or in another video to clean this when the time comes. Let, let's pour IPA inside of this thing. Okay, I got some IPA and this is an uh, alcohol, obviously, isopropanyl alcohol, not something that you drink as a beer. And we are gonna pour them into this bucket and fill it up. I have 99% alcohol for this. Okay, let's put it in. I need one more. Obviously use gloves. I will use my gloves in a moment because I forgot them. Perfect. Two of these babies. Literally we are in the line here. There are like two lines here. One at this bottom one at this here and I'm in the middle of it that is perfect but yeah here is the bottom line here is the top line the other thing that I'm going to do right now is to calibrate height for meter this is the height for meter that tells us the saturation of the IPA so I'm going to lower this ring as instructed till these smaller wings over here so these are the smaller wings and they are together so I'm gonna lower this one down and we are going to calibrate it. Once calibrated, uh, after each print, you're gonna take a look at it again. And this thing and this thing, the bolt will start to rise up. And whenever this O-ring is beyond the bigger, bigger wings, now that, that is the time to change your IPA. So let's put it in, let's calibrate it, let's put it in too. Okay, right now I dropped this height for meter in there. Whenever I dropped it, you guys can see the floating piece is way above the oil ring. And what's going to happen when IPA went bad is, this is going to go up above, the oil ring will pass these bigger wings. At that time we will say, hey, this IPA is no more good, we need to change it. So that's the time as far as I understand. But right now we are good. I'm going to open this wing back and put it back to where it's placed and here it's placed and good, 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 good. So we checked the calibration and everything, everything is fine. Now if you might remember, this is the Voronei cup piece that I 3D printed uh, with my Form 3 Plus and now we are going to wash it. I'm going to click open, now the thing is opening up. I'm gonna put it in. I'm going to put it inside this bucket, uh, but normally what you do is here, you put the build plate and then lower it 
and then it washes it while the objects are on the build plate, but this is also okay too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click start for five minutes. It's going to wash it and then raise back up again when the, when the five minutes is done. Oh yeah. It is washing good. Let's zoom in here. <laughs> okay, right now you guys can see the propellers at the bottom is turning. My object is in there and lots of eddies and currents at the surface and four minutes and 20 are four minutes and 20 seconds left and it's gonna rise up when the print is done uh, when the wash is done sorry okay it's finishing up two three oh, one set zero coming oh nice oh so nice perfect let it drip for a bit and then I will grab it. Okay, now the object is finished. Let's zoom in. I'm gonna take it off. And here it is. And now I'm going to remove the support material if I don't break anything. But anyways, let's click sleep on the thing. And uh, I will use some pliers. Where did I put the pliers? Oh wait, I have the tool set over here. I have the storage over here, so I'm gonna take my pliers from here and do the job later on. Let's take it. Nice. Now this bad boy is washed and cleaned. What we are going to do next is to unbox the curing machine and cure this thing. Let's do it. There is one thing that I know of. Uh, I hope it works. So what we are going to do is to check the game. There's a secret game here. So, so right now I'm all the way top. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Now I'm going to all the way to the top again. Now I'm at the very top, right? So it's like three, six, seven, six. So I'm gonna go three clicks to the clockwise. One, two, three. Six clicks to the counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven clicks to the clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and six clicks to the counterclockwise again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, nothing happened. Okay. No. No, no game on this one? Uh, let me check one more time. Um, three clockwise, six counter, Seven clockwise, six counterclockwise. For the main menu, move selection tool to the bottom, to the open, then to the top. That resets the combination lock. Three, six, seven, six. Hmm, let's try it again. Uh, let's click sleep. Actually, I'm going to unplug this just in case and plug it back in so it's coming back again okay uh, let's go all the way to the open good top to the start back we are good so three click clockwise one two three six to the counter one two three four five six seven clockwise one two three four five six seven six back one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I don't have the game. Anyways, let's continue with the uh, form cure unboxing and setup. But I will put the link down below for the game. Maybe somebody else can make it.
open. I don't know. But it's fun to see. And I will be unboxing the form cure. Let's cure it. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Again, we have two information thing, one power cord, one adapter, and the machine. Come to Papa. Now I'm going to open the panel up and this entire thing is the curing oven. Uh, there's UV and the heaters inside. And this is a turntable which is going to turn. And that's it. Let's plug it in. Plug it in and play with it. Shiny, shiny. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to show a little bit close look again. So this is all reflected surface. There's a UV light coming from here. There's another UV light coming from here. More importantly, there's UV light coming from the bottom. And this plate turns. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our little cup and put it right around this section. So it got, it got blasted by UV from the bottom too. And in the menu, which is really cool, is based on the material that you printed it with. Hello, by the way. Uh, based on the material you printed it, that you select it and all the settings comes automatically. So it's going to do it 15 minutes, 60 Celsius C, and I'm going to click start. Of course, if you click start while the door is open, it's going to tell you to close it, which I did right now. And now it started cooking. Uh, what's going to happen is it's going to heat the 60 Celsius C and I'm going to cook it for 15 minutes and then it's going to beep when it is done. I'm going to take it off from the machine and we will take a look at it together and end the video right in there. Oh wait, I got excited and forgot it. And here are the two brochures comes with it that details everything and explains all the details and how you open it, how you set it up. And that's it. Really nice. And this is the safety related stuff that you need to be careful of. Now it is turning and cooking it. And now, now it is finishing uh, and it is done. Let's open it up. Our object is cooked. It's a little bit yellowish now, you guys can see. But it is done. What do you guys think about it? Well, we come to the end of another unboxing and setup video. This time we unboxed for wash and cure stations and we take a look at them. They are amazing machines, top-notch quality, definitely from Labs did a really great job again. And I know this is an old, this is now an old video. These are, there's an updated models for these two, but here what I have, and I think they will be part of my, um, part of my post-processing journey from now on. In general, I use two washing machines before curing. First wash is going to be the rough wash. The second wash is going to be the uh, precise wash for doing the much cleaner cleaning after support removal especially and i divide my um wash time into two if it's 10 minutes five at the first wash five at the second wash but i have only one machine this one and i will continue using other machines still probably for the second wash and yeah these are awesome these are awesome workstations for post-processing. If you guys want to get one, links are in the bio. And if you find a way to run this game on the form wash, let me know because I want to do it too. And I'm putting the link for that one as well. As always, don't forget to subscribe to your 3D printing doctor and I will see you guys in the next video.